So we've gone ahead and primed our, our antibiotic, our secondary infusion. So we're going to utilize the hanger that came in the secondary bag and we're going to lower our primary fluids. And we're going to keep our secondary fluids higher. And now we're going to channel select and we're going to look at the keys underneath the screen and look for secondary. That's going to take us to our secondary drug library. And we're going to use our shortcut keys A through E, but we don't need to in this scenario because we're looking for ANCEF or Cefazolin. We're going to choose that. And then we'll just choose the 1,050. And again, this is all customized based on what your pharmacy gives and the concentrations that you use. And we're going to press yes, that's what I want. We're going to press next to confirm that concentration. And then we're going to um, do a duration because we always give ANCEF over 30 minutes. So we're gonna type in 30 and we're going to read our prompt window, the blue bar that says verify your secondary roller clamp is open then press start. But before we do that, we're gonna make sure we connect our secondary tubing to our primary tubing at that port that we tipped and tapped, the one that's the first one we hit. So we're gonna push and twist, open our roller clamp, and then we're going to press start. So now you still have the green light, but what's running now is the ANCEF or the cefazolin, and it says secondary cefazolin at 100 mLs per hour. So I wanna show you what happens when the secondary infusion is complete. So we're going to manipulate the numbers to make that happen pretty quickly. So we're gonna press channel select and we're going to change our volume to be infused to 0.1 just so we can simulate this happening really quick and press start. So it automatically flips back over with a series of six beeps back to the primary rate that we originally programmed for our normal saline. So that's a secondary infusion.